Good day everybody. Today we look at time certs. How many times have you discard a piece of machinery where thread has been damaged and it is impossible to go to a bigger size bolt or set screw? With the time certs inserts, this gives you the opportunity to save that workpiece. And it's a thread repair for anything with a thin wall or weak wall that has been damaged. Whether you are at the motive industry, cargo, metal maintenance, or any other industry where damage has occurred on thread and you cannot repair that by going to a bigger bolt or set screw. Once a time set is inserted, it's imperable to pressure applications where your workpiece makes pressure sensitive connections 100% proof. So it seals for water, oil in other liquids and compressed gases. <clears throat> the inserts is made of steel and it is a one millimeter wall thickness. Each time set kit comes with a drill, a seed cutter or a collar cutter, a tap specifically designed for the time set outside thread and then your inserting tool so with all these it's very easy to install a time cert insert first with the drill we're gonna drill out the old thread and as you can see it's got a square back end so that you do not utilize this in a in a normal drill but only with your hand tap ratchet always clean your cutting tool once you're done and replace it back in the box next is your seat cutter the seat cutter or collar cutter cuts a little bit away on the top end so that you can fit your time set perfectly. It will not make it too deep because there's a stop on the end and it's very really easy to see whether your collar is deep enough. You take your time set, take it upside down and see that it's a perfect fit. Now, next up, let's clean this. Once it's clean, put it back in its place. Now, for the thread cutting on the inside. Now, always remember, when utilizing any form of cutting tool where you're cutting thread, is to utilize Cut and cool of worth, you add that to your tap and then making sure that you are 100% 90 degree to the surface. You start the process and always remember because you're cutting away material you move forward and backwards if necessary you can spray a little bit more of the cut and cool on your on your tap and there we go easy remove the tap remember to clean it again and I fancy the word brake cleaner cleaning any cutting tools because it flashes off quickly and it doesn't attack your cutter. Then your inserting tool. Put that again in your tap handle, secure it. Putting a little bit of multi on your inserting tool before 
you put your time set onto your inserting tool. And you will notice there that it'll only turn in a certain part. The reason for that is that once this bottom section get to your last few threads, it will push us out your time set into your workpiece. And that's why it is secure that no oil or gases can leak pass your time set. As you can see, it goes in quite easily. And then from there, you're going to find that it's more difficult to turn. And this is where your bottom section pushes into your workpiece. And once it starts turning easily again, you know that it's seated properly. And now you can just remove your inserting tool and new thread has been installed in the casing so ready for use.